Are you spending your time on activities that are important, or are you wasting your time on activities that don't matter? Author Stephen Covey's Urgency Importance Four Quadrant Time Management Model is a powerful tool you can use to prioritize how you spend your time. In Covey's model, the four quadrants are based on urgency and importance. In the lower right quadrant are those activities that are neither urgent nor important. These include pleasant time wasters such as getting lost in social media, some phone calls and emails, non-productive tasks, mindless TV or internet surfing, some types of socializing, mindless video games, and busy work. In the lower left quadrant are those activities that are urgent but not important. This is often referred to as the quadrant of distraction. Activities in quadrant three might include something that's important to other people, but isn't your responsibility. Dealing with unimportant personal issues, many emails and telephone calls, and some meetings. Often activities in this quadrant are best delegated if they even need to be accomplished at all. In the upper right quadrant are the activities that are important, but not urgent. And this is the quadrant where your time management coach would tell you to spend most of your time, but paradoxically, it's often the quadrant that is most frequently ignored. In this quadrant, you find planning and preparation, personal growth and development, and relationship building. For IT people, network design, system backups, business development, user experience and customer experience design and testing, software enhancement upgrades, network upgrades, and staff training are all examples of activities that are important, but not usually urgent. Finally, in the upper left quadrant are those activities that are both important and urgent. They would certainly include network outages, other outages that prevent users from doing their jobs, restoring backups following an outage, and ransomware and other debilitating security problems like patching zero-day vulnerabilities. So how do you decide where to spend your time? How do you decide where to allocate company resources? Well, as you consider the demands on your time and resources, simply ask yourself, is this activity important or not? If it's both important and urgent, stop what you're doing and deal with it. If it's important but not urgent, it's worth devoting about 75% of your time and resources to it. If it's in either quadrant three or four, don't spend much time there, nor allocate much in terms of resources. Often, activities in the urgent, not important quadrant can be delegated. Certainly, some of those pleasant time wasters can be valuable in transitioning between tasks or decompressing after high pressure or turbulent times, but you must take care not to spend more than about 5% of your time there. Covey cautions us to beware of the urgency addiction in his book, First Things First. He says, some of us get so used to the adrenaline rush of handling crisis that we become dependent on it for a sense of excitement and energy. He goes on to say, anything less than a conscious commitment to the important is an unconscious commitment to the unimportant. And that's really what time management is all about. If you like this post, please leave a comment and share it with your friends. If you don't like it, please leave a comment and tell me what I could do better. Want more? Check out our on-demand IT customer service training at CompassionateGeek.com. I'm Don Crawley. Tell me what you think.